Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. Have a nice day. I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody that liked my last video, my new followers, the lovely comments. I can't believe how much people have been so nice and it just really touched my heart. Thank you so much. So today I thought I would make something that a lot of you have been trying from the latest Simple Cards and Paper Cards magazine. Uh, in this magazine you're getting a free uh, foam and flower kit which you can make gorgeous flowers with but this time I of course made some 3D makes including the fab bodice gift bag. I mean who wouldn't want to receive this with a little gift inside? I'll show you how it's made. Of course, in the magazine, you'll find all the links to the downloads for your template, PDF or SVG, depending on what you want to use. So today I decided to use some of this lush paper from the Craft Consortium. You can see, look at the colors of this paper pad. It is just absolutely stunning. There's lush red tones into pinks and purples. You can see it's been well loved, not a lot of it left. So today I chose these gorgeous ones to make my bodice with. Look at that, absolute stunning. And some of my Bazelle's 12 12 cardstock. So I will go and get all this cut out and I'll be back in a minute. So that's me cut everything out. I used my silhouette to cut everything out and I cut it out at 30% more than the original size so that I had a slightly bigger bag. That meant that the straps wouldn't fit to be cut out because the main size was about 14 inches. So what I did was I've cut them from the scraps left over and I'll just have the straps slightly smaller. Um, it'll still work, it just means that you won't have as loopy a handbag. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold back all my score lines And these ones just a little score, you don't need to bend them too much. And then I'm going to bring in my villainous potion. I'm not sure if that's it pronounced. And I'm going to ink up all my edges on all my card. So let's get started. See, I used my little ink pad to just go around the eyelets and also I used it to come down the seams just to make it stand out a little. So I'm going to add some ink to the part of paper. You won't really see it, but then I want to add a little bit of gold pen just to hide these white cores. So I'll be back in a minute. See, I've just edged everything and it just takes away that harsh line. So now I'm going to make up the cups and put these on the front of the bodice bag. So first of all what I want to do is just shape them a little. Also just when I cut them out I put letters, you can just make them out just in pencil on the back so I knew which side went where and didn't get mixed up. So first of all, what I'm going to do is take some glue. Again, you can use hot glue, any glue that you want, as long as it dries clear. Much. And then I'm just going to start from the top and glue my tabs, taking my time until I get round to the bottom to create my cup.
go. Get a little few. Make sure all my tabs are glued in place. That. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the next one and then I'll be back in a minute. So I've got both cups ready and I'm going to take the front of the bag and I want to take the R side and it will go this side and then air will go in there and I just want to start off. This time I'm going to use my hot glue because I want it to go on quite quickly so I'll just start the top tab. And I'm going to put that on the top. And I'm going to do the other side as well. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to do it right down at the point. Over to get it. Strings. And then I'm just going to glue all the other tabs around about. So now that I've got both cups in, I'm going to attach the front and back together. And again, it's going to be really easy. You're going to just start throwing all your tabs right along, following the shape of the bag, and then keeping it on the other side. So I'm going to have some hot glue this time. So that's both sides stuck down, all the tabs go in, and now it's time to add the base. So you have two slight oval lemon shapes. One is slightly bigger than the other and you want a smaller one. And you're gonna glue this to the bottom tabs. Now this is a bit fidgety, so the easiest way to do it is to do your corners first. So start this one. One as well. And then over the other side. So your tabs out the way. Now it's just a matter of going all the rest 
All right. done don't worry about the mess you're going to take your other one and you're just going to stick it in place your base done. Now we're going to put on our handles so you'll need your two large pieces and the small ones. Again remember I cut mine from spare card but if you're using the original size yours you can cut out from the pattern. So mine's all look slightly different. Just put a little glue and centre these on top. Once you've got them in a curved shape, you're going to stick them just to the side of the cup. You draw the hot glue. You'll have a score line if you're following the template. Now in there, and do the same on the other side. And then goes to the back, and then one to and then just to the side here after the score. If you don't want to use the handles, you could add ribbon instead and just glue it on or punch some holes through and feed your ribbon through, whatever you fancy. Remember, drafting is all about personality. And there we are. Put your handles. See? Yeah. So now we are going to add our layers. So now I'm just going to layer my pieces together. On the pattern, you only have one layer. But as I had mine ready to cut on my soft silhouette software, I decided to make another layer. Um, if people are want to know how to do that, just leave a comment below and I will let them know. If not, one layer would work great. Just remember to shape these as you do so that they curve to the shape of the bag. And just add on all your different layers. Remember to match up the right sides and apologies for that that would be the dog moaning at me for talking so once you've got everything together you're going to just start sticking it on it can be a bit awkward so i suggest having your hand inside to help hold bits in place and using a good sticky glue I'm going right up to the corners plenty on Pushing against your hand from the inside just to get all the pieces stuck down. And if you find it easier, you could stick your pieces on before you make up the bag. I just find this easier so that my pieces can take shape. So 
once you've glued all your panels on, that's basically your bag all finished. See, it's just ready to decorate. So next, what I'm going to do is find some ribbon that will match my pretty papers and I'm going to feed it through the holes. So I'll be back in two minutes. So now that I have some ribbon, I decided to try and find ones that match, but I think the thicker one is the best one to choose. So I'm going to away. I've cut a length and I want to find the middle. And next you want to decide whether you're going to have your bow at the bottom or the top. If you have it at the top, you want to start at the bottom. If you want to have the bottom, start at the top. I want to have mine at the bottom this time. So what I'm going to do is from the inside, I'm going to feed my ribbon through. Good. Almost equal lengths, and then I'm just going to work my way down, crisscrossing until I get to the bottom. Okay. And so that you start at the same bit again, you're going to feed it back through the ones that you went through just so so the opposite side is going to come back through maybe you get best using some tweezers to help you get a grip of it So, and then continue and back then. Got to the bottom you can see I don't have that much ribbon left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it here and then add my bow on instead. Just add a wee teeny bit of glue just to the edge here on the box, and that will just stop your ribbon from going underneath. And that's it. And there we are. Oh, so now. All you've got to do is decorate. So now uh, for my decoration, I used the lovely Bowie's stamp and die set, the country flower art. I absolutely love the design. Let's see, Bowie's stuff's always beautiful. So what I've done is I've cut out two of the flowers and embossed with the wow embossing metallic platinum super fine it's a slightly off gold and then i added a top layer of vellum and then i inked all the edges with a bit the same ink as before added lots of glitter to the middle and a gem 
So I'll show you how I do this. First of all, I take the petal and I use my tweezers and I just twist. And I must admit, I've seen Chloe do this and I absolutely love it. So if you've ever seen any of Chloe's videos, she always knows great ways to help design your flowers. So then I'm going to put them in, you know, so cup them and then repeat this for all of them, including your vellum. Once you've done that, you're just going to layer them together. So we'll take the first layer, the blob of glue in the middle, and then place inside, making sure that the petals are sitting in between each other. Sorry about my head. You see? And then just repeat the next one. See the petals just all interlock. There we go. So next we're just going to add our glitter. So I'll take a bit of scrap paper and then some glue and just add it. I like to come up my petal and then plenty in the middle. You can be neat if you want but I don't mind having a wee bit. And then I'm using the Sparkalicious and this is Glisten. I don't know if you can still get this one but I absolutely love it. See look at that. Look at all that colour. Once that dries, you can use a small brush and just knock off any excess. In the meantime, I'll just do this one. And then I'll just move this out of the way. And then Lastly, you're going to use some of your gems. I just thought might as well use these. Matching, blob glue in the middle. And There we go. And just set them aside to dry. And now they're drying, I'm going to add some gems all over my bodice. So coming down all these folds. And once I'm done, I'll be back and hopefully my flowers will be all dry. So as you can see, I've added all my gems on. I've even added a few to the handles. Just to bring it together and my flowers are all dry. Also got some gems and I'm also going to add in some lines of ribbon that I'm going to use to act a bit like leaves instead of stamping out some more leaves. So what I'm going to do is use my hot glue and I'm going to just put all of that on the ribbon and then stick it to the back. Then I'm going to add this onto the bag. And have it here, I think. So, and the other one, I'm going to add in 
trim that first. And add that to the back of the small one. And go up just a little bit. Move them down there. And then I've got a little gem that I've added, one of the matching gems from Koi's into it. I'm going to just put that on as well. And center fit on the box. And then again, repeat down with the last lower. Add that here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a few more gems and then one more of these on the ribbon at the back, and that will be me. Well, that's the bag all finished. As you can see, I've added some more gems all over. That glitter just pops, gems on the front. And then I've added again the gem, just the same as the front to the back, the ribbon. You could add on a tag up on the handle with a wee sentiment or even just had a die cut sentiment to it. Uh, pop your present in, some tissue paper, and it's all ready to send. Just perfect. And it's just in time for my mum's birthday so thank you again for watching along i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and follow if you like and i'll hopefully see you next time bye mm -hmm.